What's up dudes, welcome back. Uh, last time out we had our asses kicked a little bit by the Kingdom of Estonia. Um, so revenge is on the cards. Um, it is the 16th of September, 8-12. And <clears throat> uh, Denmark are in the ascendancy, with our help a little bit. What else is going on? Let's see. Um, so in terms of Irish unity... Um, the Kingdom of Ulster is um, well on its way to having half the island under its control. Scotland's undergoing a rebellion right now. There are still two Svipjods, um, one bigger than the other, uh, though which way that's going to go is anyone's guess. Denmark is huge, Estonia is also fragmented but very powerful. Um, the Lapish Kingdom has absorbed the province of Kola. Um, it's still a little too big for my liking, but it's deeply, deeply unstable. Um, so I'm hoping we can pick up on that. Bulgaria and Serbia are also pretty big. Italy, um, also quite large. Um, what else we got? There's an Islamic revolt. Asturias is uh, losing to the Islamis Islamification, Islamization, whatever, of um, the Iberian Peninsula. Byzantine Empire has uh, reunited. Um, there is still a revolt, but it seems to be fairly well contained. <clears throat> Khazaria, pretty large. Oh, wow. You guys are pretty big. Uh, and the Cheng Empire is doing Chengy things, Chengishly. Uh, the Abbasids still largely in control of North Africa. <clears throat> Abyssinia is holding together. There's quite some large power blocks actually. It's mostly Northern Europe that's fragmented and even that's starting to consolidate. Um, Iceland is ours. Um, we've blown a lot of money. Um, you will have noticed last time out, we had a lot of temples pop up. I got money from raiding, I got money from um, ransoming prisoners, and I blew it all on building temples. Uh, quite expensive, very expensive in fact. Um, but <clears throat> the aim is that if we keep those vassals happy, uh, they provide more troops to our levy. And at this point, because we're kind of hemmed in, um, my aim is to essentially uh, chase the efficiency of having more troops generated by the same land mass. Um, with that in mind, um, let's see what else we can do. Oh, let's build a market village up here, improve our taxes. Um, and I'll build a barracks here. That's close to clearing us out. Um, let's build a war camp. We've got a lot of prestige, so anything that requires prestige to build, we can do. And of course, it, it pleases very much your vassals when you're building in their territory. I sort of uh, worry about you, Batulfa. Um, because Yamtaland. Uh, it's kind of like a... it juts out from our empire, it's quite easy to um, to attack, and it's in a very unstable position. Um, our wife is actually um, a vassal of the King of Svipjod. So, not everything is going perfectly, but we do have a very strong leader at the moment. Um, we need to pick a new designated regent and cupbearer. Um, in terms of designated regent, I'm going to pick... Um, our son. And in terms of a cupbearer. Someone honest and content. Yeah, you'll do Sigbjorn. Need a law speaker, someone very learned. Yep, your erudite, you'll do. Um, I think we have some stronger commanders now. 
Sverk of the Ill Tempered and Valdemar. Okay, we don't have the best herd, but that's that's okay. Uh, we need a ideally we need a better chancellor. That's something that we have to work on fairly significantly. I'm gonna have him continue to sow dissent down here. How about we unpause the game, eh? And we will be going raiding again very, very soon. I'm just waiting um, for all the levies to fill out again. Oh, I don't know which hospital she went to, but she's now a, re a renowned physician. This is excellent news. Right, why are we not getting any levy from you? You've got a strong reinforcement rate. But you're just not giving us any troops. That's good. Yeah, we need to... Oh wow, Svipjard, expand north into... Okay, a lot happening. The Allens are on the scene. Um, we could actually use some... some friends. Um, I'm wondering if we couldn't arrange a betrothal. I guess you're not in diplomatic range. Um, right, first things first, who can we righteously imprison? Poor, okay, why? Planning to kill Linda Holmes, Holmes good dot here. Um, why? Why are you trying to kill her? She's unmarried, she's no threat to you at all. Um, I'm going to marry her off just to get her out of our way. Um, why can she marry a woman? I mean, whatever, but... Um, you know, it's the 21st century and all, but it's little unusual. Let's marry you to you. Okay. So, in terms of priorities at this point, um, we have a few. The first thing I'd like to do is try and found a bloodline um, with King Optimus because I think um, he's well placed um, to found a good one. So, that's something that we'll definitely be working on. Um, we also want to continue to strengthen our court. We need a new diplomat. Um, we need to grab Horderland if we can, and we need to build a war chest. Um, so that means it's time to go a raiding again. Which we will do. Several former Varangian guardsmen have recently turned home. My son Magnus has fallen in battle. No! No! My son died a hero. Ah, fuck. Shit. Shit, he was badass as well. Uh, you're pretty badass too, but not in the way that I want. Um, you're... This is bad, because I'm pretty sure the rest of our sons are not our sons. Um, oh Magnus, why did you have to go and get yourself killed, you twat? Okay, we need to groom a new heir. Ideally a young, a new young one. Um, because we are getting old. 
I think suspiciously ginger is also actually ours. Um, but he's not a good option. Oh, bollocks. It's funny how this game can just, like, out of nowhere, kick you in the bollocks. Okay, we need a new designated regent. Um, okay, maybe going raiding isn't necessarily smart right now. Um, because we really don't want to be dying. And there's also a lot of armies wandering through our realm, which I'm not super keen about. What do we do here? Uh, she was my concubine, okay. But he is definitely my son, definitely. Um... So we need someone who's got a lot of good traits, like Falky. Might be a little late to groom him, but um, really, even though this guy looks kind of badass, I'm pretty sure he's not actually ours. Yeah, this is tricky. This pleases me. Yes, he is very good at what he does, but um, I'm not sure that's necessarily going to help us. Um, I can tell him to assemble a mercenary company. Maybe we hold on to him for now and see what happens. Right, I need a coffee. Okay, giving it some thought. There's really not much we can do. Um, we're just going to have to live with it. What we can do is, um, down here there is a Swedish revolt. Um, Um, but I can't see forces from the other side, so actually that doesn't help us at all. Uh, focus then is on taking Hordeland. Um, does he have any good allies? No. Shame, he seems a nice guy. We could offer him vassalization, but he won't take it. Um... Yep, we're just going to have to snatch it from him then. Um, wow, this guy's a badass. He's also a lunatic. He's... Oh wow, he's in a lot of fighting right now. Estonia is... under attack. Could this be the time to try again? Uh, conquest of Ingria. I don't know where Ingria is. Conquest of Finnmark. We'll worry about that later. First things first, we should go raiding. We need money in the bank. Um, so... I think we've waited long enough for our levies to restore. We're not that far off full, to be honest. Um, let's raise the fleet. Um, there may be some up here. No. And we will raise our military levies, except these guys. Let's turn that speed down. We don't want the game running away from us too much. OK. 
Okay, let's merge Trandish fleet. We'll wait for everyone to join up, set our commanders, and then press forth. Hope no one attacks us in this time. <clears throat> but we will do some raiding for sure. And I may go quite far from home again. Whenever you're ready. Come on. Some of our troops are not very well adapted for mountains. Um, where have all our commanders gone? Dear Father in Law, peace be with you. I request that you honor your obligation against High Chief Hermel of Estonia. Alright, looks like we're invading Estonia. I, I really don't want to piss off the Danes too much, to be quite frank. It's good actually, because I just realised we didn't turn the um, army into raiders, so we'll do that after. Plus, anything that weakens Estonia in the long run is going to be helpful. Um, we're losing money having this army set up, and the supply limit. Yeah, we're going to start suffering attrition. Quite badly. Crank the speed up, see if there's more food to be had. It's hard winter as well, which is part of the problem. Suspiciously short is sick. Okay, there's enough supplies here, so. We need a new commander for that flank, um, so we're going to promote a commander. You're not the best, but fine. one there. Uh, it looks like this battle is falling to pieces though. Um, if I were... Why are the Estonians so hardcore? I don't understand. I guess we're fighting the Sami. I don't know if they're in this war, actually. No, they're not. about who's friends with who at this point. Okay, that's been captured by the Sami. So now we're marching south with a diminished force, but...
Oh, actually, we may have just turned the tide of that war. And we've taken a prisoner. King Bercy of Denmark has won. Excellent. Right, let's go back, restore our levies. troops home, restore them, set up our raiding party once again. Um, we can bring suspiciously short out of hiding. We've got some very talented sons, it's just none of them are ours. <clears throat> okay, um, so we're almost at the end of this episode actually, and I, it was supposed to be a raiding episode, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Um, so, I guess we'll wait till we get these troops home, we'll uh, disarm, um, I will build some more buildings with my prestige, and uh, we will try again <laughs> next time. Having this army mobilised is costing us a fortune. Our sons come of age soon though, and um, hopefully that allows us to... Um... Why is our alliance broken? Oh, he's died, that's why. He died of great pox. So there's a new king of Denmark. Let's arrange a betrothal to our daughter Ingrid, who is a genius. Why won't you accept our offer, you cheeky little bastard? Let's send a gift. Now he'll accept it. So she needed a dowry. That means Saxony breaks all- yes it does. So there's now also a king of the Saxons. That maybe we have another daughter for? No we don't. He's sickly anyway, so uh, it might not be a problem. The in enlarged Denmark may actually um, work fine. The Queen Mother of Denmark, I thought... King Bercy, Queen Mother Elizabeth... I thought our daughter was the Queen of Denmark. Yes, she was. Uh, she's the mother of the King of Saxony. Okay. Let's arrange a marriage for her. Uh, we can't. But we can form an alliance. He won't form an alliance, will you? No. Nope. The Pomeranians obviously won't. Hello, Novgorod. You could be a useful friend. You don't have many troops. 
we send you a cheeky little gift, perhaps? And arrange the betrothal between... Who do I have unmarried? I think most of my sons are unmarried, aren't they? Suspiciously short. And... Amu. You would accept that. Excellent. It's time to start playing the geopolitical game a little bit. What about Biarmia? You have a daughter as well, but she's married. But you have a granddaughter. No, it's not going to work. Okay, so um, join me next time when, uh, yeah, things happen. Bye for now.